Okay, so we're back out here at the shop again. Um, today we're going to do something a little different. we are going over reviewing some of my information on my welder. And I want to try out the TIG torch and the foot pedal they sent me. Um, so I've got it hooked up to my Argon. I've got the TIG plugged in. And it uses a, I don't know if you can see it, uses this adapter because the TIG torch actually has a larger connector than the welder. So when you use it on the 141i, you have to use this adapter. When you use it on a, the way I understand it, the way when you use it on the 181i, you do not use the adapter. Uh, one thing I want to point out that will be in my review is I'm a little concerned with the quality of these. They're little 8-pin connectors that connect the everything to the front, um, your foot pedal or uh, the uh, actual one that comes on the TIG torch for the push button um, and the trigger for the MIG gun and also the spool gun will all connect through this and it just feels cheap plastic and flimsy and it never you know connects really tight it always feels floppy uh, so that's a little bit of a concern I'm not sure you know Ideally, I shouldn't be putting any real stress on it, but you never know when something like that is going to break the first time somebody accidentally steps on the cord. And frankly, I don't really have a clue what I'm doing on TIG yet. This is mainly just I want to test the TIG torch and the foot pedal and make sure everything works as advertised here for my review that I will be doing. Uh... But it says I should need 100 to 130 amps. Let's. I guess I should. Let's see. So let's. Yeah, 130. This one's supposedly down slope. I've got my foot pedal. This is going to be awkward also because I don't yet have a stool out here. <laughs> I need to come up with a stool. You know, the TIG torch is pretty big. It's a 17V, so it's got the valve in it. You control the gas manually. Uh, so you got to remember to turn that on every time. you got to remember to turn the gas on every time because it does not have a valve. Well, it doesn't use the valve in the machine in TIG mode. It only uses it in MIG mode. In TIG mode, your TIG torch has the valve in it and it has this extra hose that comes off that runs over to the regulator, so you have to manually turn that on. Hey kitty, you need to get out of here. You can't be in here when I'm welding. No, you can't. Come on. Shoo, shoo. Out, shoo. Why don't you go and blind? Out, out. Shoo, shoo, shoo. see it with this camera, but I'm going to have to move this camera now a little so you can see here what I'm doing. Uh, this may not go as well as I hope because I don't have any acetone or anything to get this metal really, really clean. It's just ground clean. So, let's we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to flash myself with this, uh, but it doesn't take that properly out of it.
forget to turn the gas on. Burn the tip away on your tungsten and make a big mess. So, let's pause both these videos. I'll re-grind my tungsten. And... Alright, I'm just going to try this on a place I haven't screwed up yet. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, I'll have to get used to using the foot pedal. Putting way too much power into that, I can see right there. But, and it seems to be a little touchy. You go um, low amperage to high amperage really freaking quick and easy. It's almost jumpy at the low end when you travel. Probably want to be somewhere in the middle of the travel range. But, it seems to work. Work is advertised. Let's try it without the foot pedal. I'm just going to do the foot pedal. Just to make sure the button on the thing works and everything. that I was screwing on with the TIG on and as you can tell I don't know what the hell I'm doing yet but that's okay that's what this is all about is learning but I verified that the foot control does work and the uh, button on the TIG itself works the gas valve works there is variable amperage control with the foot pedal so we're good there everything seems to work properly and there's the welder again 